Have you ever wished for a co-pilot while navigating through Excel? Well, your wish has been granted by Microsoft. What's up party people? I'm Dave, I'm a CPA, I go by Piggy Bank Accountant, and today we're going to explore Microsoft Copilot in Microsoft Excel, a tool designed to increase your productivity and efficiency in your spreadsheets. We are going to go over the features of Microsoft Copilot in Excel and also its limitations. Microsoft Copilot is a generative AI assistant that integrates into your favorite Office 365 applications. It's designed to assist you by generating code, text, images, and other content based on your inputs and the context of your work. In Excel, for instance, Copilot can help automate tasks, generate formulas, and provide insights into your data. It's like having an assistant sitting next to you ready to help whenever you need it. In other words, Copilot is the Clippy of 2024. <laughs> Please note that I'm using Copilot Pro and it is a paid version. I recently made a video walking you through the main differences of the free and paid version of Microsoft Copilot and it's right here at the top. We are in Microsoft Excel and Copilot is located at the top in the ribbon. Something that is very important to note is if that the button is grayed out, you need to save your workbook on OneDrive. If your workbook is saved on your local disk, it won't work. I would click the button here and we have a warning here that Copilot is in preview mode. What does it mean? It means that Copilot right now is in feedback mode. It's not in production mode. It means that the community is more than welcome giving feedback on Copilot. And also please note that right now Copilot in Excel is available only in English. In other apps such as Word, OneNote, and PowerPoint, it's available in every languages. Another thing that you need to know is that you need to be very specific with your questions with Microsoft Copilot in Excel, and also that your data need to be formatted as a table. As you can see here, I have data, it is not in a table, and Copilot also suggests me, do you want to convert this as a table? You can click on convert, and here we go, I have a table. If it doesn't suggest you to convert as a table for some reason, let's click on undo. You can just select your data, go into insert, and then click on table here and make sure that my table as headers is checked. Here we go, we click OK, it does exactly the same results. We're going to play around with Copilot in Excel and what I'll do is actually play with the analyze function. So as you can see, I cannot do anything if I only selected a cell that is not in a table. And as soon as I click on the table, Copilot activates himself in the right pane. I have a data set here, which is the year, the category, the product, the sales, and the department. And we are going to see what Copilot is suggesting me when I click on analyze. It says I can analyze data and show insight in charts and pivot table. And then it asks me to select a prompt. Let's try to ask Copilot the total sales by category as a column chart and let's see what he gives me. I click here and then he suggests me a pivot chart and let's click add to a new sheet. Click here and here we go. We have a sales as a category. Copilot did it by himself using the thousands and it also sort the data descending sort Z to A. So we have our top value at the top and we have the movie magic $3,000 at the bottom. Makes a really great chart already titled. Everything's perfect on this one. Let's go back to our data and see what I can do. What if I do inside for sales? Let's just click on that. Here's a pivot chart that shows an insight about your data. Let's add to a new sheet. And what it gave me actually is the department and the sum of sales. So basically it gave me pretty much the same as my previous data, except that it was a category, but this time it went by department. It also highlighted me the biggest sales, which mean the headgear and the playtime workshop. I'm not too sure of the results behind that, which means I'm not sure what he did. Like, did he put only the top two? Did he say, okay, it totalized 40% of my total data. So we're lacking some information here on what it actually did in the back end. I'm gonna try and refresh the prompt that Copilot is giving me and see if it gives me idea. I just click on refresh here in the pane and let's see what it does when I click on total sales for product, excluding Beyonce's Barrett. I don't know why we will want to exclude Beyonce's Barrett, but we'll do it. 
All right, let's add to a new sheet again. So Copilot is just creating me a basic pivot table. If I click on this pivot table, it is basically a normal pivot table. So this is really useful if you don't know how to make a pivot table at all. You don't really need to learn it. Copilot just did it for you. But what's dangerous, I think here is that when you click, it filtered out Beyonce's Barrett. But as you can see here, it's still checked but it went into the label filter and it put a label filter, which I think is not really obvious and it's kind of dangerous. So you can clear the filters again, it's appearing again here, and then you can just uncheck it. I think it is much clearer when you see it like that, but basically simple pivot table, product, sum of sales, and it's sort descending once again. One of the limitation is that Copilot cannot act on the pivot tables themselves. If I select my pivot table, I go in Copilot and I just cannot ask any question. It's grayed out once again. I'm gonna ask another question to Copilot and I'll ask him, can you give me the top five products in term of sales in a bar chart? Make the bar chart pink gradient. So this is one of the limitation. Copilot tells me, sorry, I can't do multiple things at once for the best experience. Add one request at a time. So let's see if I just tell him, can you give me the top five product in term of sales? What it's gonna do. So it took roughly 20 seconds. Here's a pivot table based on your prompt. I will add to a new sheet and it didn't do any chart. It just gave me the top five product and it used the top 10 function in the filters. So value filters top 10 and it put the top five item. Okay, let's ask Copilot a question. Let's not use the built-in prompts. So I will say, can you do a percentage of sales by line based on the total of sales? Let's see what it gives me. So Copilot answers me, I could not create a line chart, but here's an answer that may be helpful. If, if I had to new sheet, it just gives me the sum of the sales. So Copilot didn't quite understand my question here. Let's try it again. I will say, So here's a suggestion for you. Calculate the percentage of total sales for each product by dividing the sales of the product by the sum of all sales in the table. So it actually works. If I just mouse over on insert column, it shows me it's in column F what it's gonna add. We're going to add it, click on insert column. Done, I added the sales percentage column F. This is very interesting. I can click here below, explain formula, and it's going to explain me the whole formula that it did. So Copilot added the sales percentage in the column. If I do the total, it gives 100%. It actually did it right. Good job. <laughs> We're gonna test once again the add a column feature. So I'm just gonna click on my table once again and click on add formula columns and see what Copilot is suggesting me. It tells me add a column to compare sales and sales percentage. Let's click on this. I am kind of curious. I'm going to insert column and it actually didn't give me anything good here. That's not really great. What Copilot is also suggesting me is how many category of celebrity hats. This can be useful. I will click here and it's giving me the result six. So it just told me that there is six line of cele celebrity hat. It basically did an equal count, but it put it in a pivot table. So once again, not super useful. Will be useful if there was like 3000 lines, pretty much. We could have only done a count if, but it did it like pretty faster. So that's cool. One thing that I like that actually Copilot is not suggesting me right now, but it did when I tried to practice and show you guys the best of the best of Copilot is that it added the sales of the latest year. Add a column. insert column and as you can see this can be useful instead of doing a pivot table and then sorting on 2024 it gave me only the sales for the year of 24 for each category it can be useful i mean not all the time but that's something it can do so i didn't have to type the whole formula like either if the year and then like it's a really complicated function but it actually worked i will delete a few columns here and try to add the unique product id for every product using a vlookup and let's see if copilot can do this that will be nice if you tell him can you use vlookup or can you bring the product id for each product they are in the product ID tab here. 
So as you can see, all my unique IDs are there. I go back in my master sheet and I will ask Copilot. Sorry, I can't do that. It doesn't work. I'll try to be more specific because you need to be specific with your questions. It doesn't work once again. Each like on this video equals a day of watering for my plants. Support Plant Live. Give a thumbs up to this video. <laughs> We're going to test the sort and filter features. Click here, sort and filter. And it gives me bold the top 10 values in year. I don't think that's what I want. I would probably want to bold top five values in sales maybe, right? Here we go. We have the top five values that are bold. I will ask him. Copilot here applied my color on the column cell. So I have my top 10. If I go filter by color, I have 10 values. It also tells me that it puts some color in the department column, but let's see what it did. As you can see, if I remove my color, it doesn't work. It's because it used the conditional formatting. If I go in conditional formatting, I manage my rules. So as you can see what it did, it put the top 10 as well in column E but it's based on numbers and my column E is not numbers, it is letters. So it worked for my column D because it is numbers. So it tells me apply some color on the top 10. These are numbers, but these are not numbered. But I wanted Copilot to actually copy the format of the column D in column E. It didn't understand what I told him. Fair enough. Other than that, you can do basic stuff. If I ask Copilot, can you sort descending my data based on the year? It is probably just going to put descending based on column A. As you can see, you have 24 at first and you have 2019 at the end. It can be useful once again, if you're not really used playing around with filters, but for someone that is intermediate or even that use Excel every day, it should be pretty easy. So I don't think it saves anyone any time here, except if you have a very, very large data set that you know already, let's say you have 55 columns, you know them by heart and you don't want to go at the end. You can just ask Copilot, sort them descending. But again, I don't really see the use case here right now. My honest thoughts on Copilot in Excel right now, it is in preview mode. So it is normal that it is lacking some major features. I think it is still good for someone that is beginning in Excel. Like if you don't know how to do something, you can just straight up ask it. It's going to probably give you the right answer. It's not good for people like me that are experienced in Excel. Excel. I think it doesn't make you go faster. I think it's just some noise. Would it get better? I hope. I like to tell people, do you remember when internet first came out, when your mom was getting on the phone and it was cutting out your internet? I made other videos on Copilot right here and I think you should watch them because this is the future of work. Of course, subscribe to the channel for more content on Copilot and Excel. Cheers!